Video 33, Fiber Optic Splicing, Part 3, Sealing and Protecting. As previously discussed in Video 32, fiber splicing is usually a three-stage process. Preparation, splicing, and then sealing or protecting. The third stage is the sealing and protecting. Stage 3, Sealing and Protecting. After splicing, the connected fibers are placed inside a reinforced protection sleeve. This is a heat shrink or splice protector. This sleeve keeps the fiber protected from bending and seals it against the elements. Heat shrink sleeves are available in varying lengths from 45 mm to 60 mm. The sleeves are typically comprised of three components, an inner tube of polyolefin copolymer adhesive that bonds to the fiber coating when heated, providing strength and preventing air and moisture from making contact with the splice. A stainless steel pin to provide rigidity and prevent the fiber bending and or breaking. The pin is located between the inner tube of adhesive and an outer heat shrink sleeve. It is non-corrosive and will not rust over time. The properties of the inner tube and the outer tube are designed such that the inner tube starts to melt at a lower temperature than that at which the outer tube shrinks. This is to prevent force being applied to the fiber splice and to ensure proper encapsulation. An outer sleeve of polyolefin heat shrink that reduces in size when heat is applied and places pressure on the inner sleeve to ensure an airtight and watertight joint. The outer sleeve also holds all three components together. The properties of the inner tube and the outer tube are designed such that the inner tube starts to melt at a lower temperature than that at which the outer tube shrinks. This is to prevent force being applied to the fiber splice and to ensure proper encapsulation. Most fusion splicers therefore incorporate an oven in their design. They often have default heating mode options according to length, material, heat time, and heat temperature. Typical heat temperature used is around 125 degrees Celsius. However, settings from as low as 100 degrees Celsius to as high as 200 degrees Celsius can be used.